Oh, he gets both. He draws Galakron from his deck and gets the, um... That's, wow. That value. And that's good to know. Huh, this should be interesting. The Hearthstone highlight this time is using the deck Chaotic Veil. So this is a deck that we built when we were trying to experiment with how much value we could get out of Sethic Veil Weaver and also Galakrond. Turned out we got a whole lot of value, more out of Galakrond, and our opponent got even more value out of his Sethic Veil Weavers and our Galakrond as well as his own Galakrond. We don't usually highlight games that go quite as long as this one, but it was bizarre, crazy, swinging back and forth, and so I wanted to go ahead and share it with you guys. So real quick, before we get into the highlight, let me introduce the deck just a little bit more. Chaotic Veil uses Infectious Sporling, a number of Thief Priest cards, as well as Target Your Own Minion spells to get extra value out of Sethic Veil Weaver. And then it has the Powerhouse Highlander cards to generate extra value in addition to Galakrond and Sethic Veilweaver. So check out this highlight and let me know what you think. So that is a 100% win rate uh, deck. Uh, <laughs> that if you want to play a, an off version of Res Priest, you might consider for a little bit of fun with Veilweaver. But we didn't actually get to play Veilweaver. So yeah, the only thing that was really significantly different was we had Psyche Split in there. So, meh. This is a Highlander deck, and... Nah, it's too slow, we'll draw into it. I'm gonna go, hold, go ahead and hold on to Zephyrus just in case we choose to use him. Let's start this out in an interesting way. Yes, he can just penance it or something. Who cares? <laughs> All right, are you a fun player? Do you have Disciple of Galakrond or something like that that I can turn into a Sporling and we can start the chaos? No? Okay. Um, so we can Zephyrus. For ramp. At the moment, our hand's not very heavy. Against a priest. What these eh. Let's do it. Let's ramp. <laughs> um. Uh. So sadly, the rest of our deck is mostly. I mean, other than a couple of really good ones. I hope he didn't get our Reliquary. Uh, playing this out right now. Oh, no, 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 no. We're playing this anyways. He did mulligan his leftmost card, so he's not quest. Um, no harm in hitting him. But Shadow Word Madness on a Reliquary would feel horrendous. Okay. Let's see what he's got in hand. Shall we? Okay, so he's Galakrond, and a little bit of interesting stuff. Okay. Um, definitely not what I was hoping for, <laughs> but could allow us to get out an early Skeletal Dragon or something. So we can kill that with Apotheosis. Plus three. So it's alive at one, and then I can heal it back up. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Fear the big Madame Lezoul. She is big and scary. Again, not wanting to play Reliquary of Souls when we have stuff on board that he could easily uh, 
kill it off on. Ooh, he's got double invoked already. Okay. Well, let's see if he's a Highlander deck or not. Yeah. Uh, no duplicates yet that we've seen. So it's still possible. Oh, wait. Did we know? No, we haven't seen Zephyrus or Dragon Queen Alexstrasza or anything like that. That would tell us. Okay, here we can play this. Safely. Okay. We have thought stolen from our opponent. Okay, we can kill off our Reliquary, no problem. He's got triple invokes, fun. Uh oh, that's not good. He could steal our Galakrond, potentially, and play it next turn. And then invoke again, and then get a weapon from his Galakrond. That would be a play. Uh, Shadow Madness would allow us to get rid of that 3-6, right? Yeah. With penance. But I do want to kill off our 1-3. Holy Nova plus penance. That's using a lot of our heal, though. What? We're going to need it later. We're not getting amazing value out of this, but it's okay. And I don't want to use Holy Nova. Okay. Sometimes we're going to be using Galakrond here soon just to start generating extra value. Holy cow! Those are two gifted Madame Lazuls. So he could have another normal one. <laughs> He's managed to steal. <laughs> From Galakron's wit. Well, this clears, including that, because of that. So sure. Uh, unfortunately, we can't Skeletal Dragon on top of it. But meh. So he's got an amazing value, and he's probably got like five Galakrons in hand right now. Oh no, a Fate Weaver. Plus three Galakrons. <laughs> Like, his Fate Weaver is actually active. Uh, fine. Big ol' whelp, card draw. Very nice. We don't actually have a ton of card draw in this deck. Um, we have Generation with Sethic Veil Weaver. But, uh, yeah, that was actually getting to be an issue. Time rip. Okay, so now he's got a fully upgraded Galakron, but doesn't quite have enough mana to play it. Oh, lovely. Fun, 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 fun. Okay, so definitely not a Highlander deck. Good to know. We have a dragon in hand. Breath of the Infinite doesn't allow us to clear either of these. Let's see what we get off this. Let's just get some board presents. Nice. Uh, yeah, I'm actually going to go ahead and do that. So now our Galakrond is half buffed. Though actually we only have a few activators. Huh. Earlier I might should have taken a shield of Galakrond when I had the option. I wanted to see a little bit more of what he had in hand. Or in deck. No, in hand. Yeah. We saw something out of his hand. Mind vision. So yeah, I should have gone for the uh, Shield of Galakrond early on. Created by Mind Vision. So he created at least one extra. Wait. Oh, but because it was created by Mind Vision, it's not fully upgraded. Because he got it later. 
after he had already invoked at least once. Yeah, I'm wondering where my version of that is. <laughs> By the way, we've already... Mind Flayer Karj would be the only thing that would allow us to benefit from that. Or if we got a um, another Shadow Word Madness to be able to steal that. Let's kill it all. <laughs> Never mind. Let's kill two of them. Okay. So he can Gallic Round again, probably. And again, and again. <laughs> uh, for the number of Madame Lazules he's played, uh, he or she, Sark, I don't know. I did want to play Chrono Breaker, but we didn't have quite enough mana to play it on top. But keep getting the 4 5 all the way up makes it a little bit more tricky for him to deal with. He's got 10 cards, he's got to play something out. Alright, it might be time for Gallic Round. Two renews and a skeletal dragon plus a uh, shield. He's not a Highlander deck. Maybe okay. You think this is your time. It is the, sh the one painful thing is that the. Um... Oh, I like it. Yeah, that could go there, is what I was a little bit concerned about. Okay. So we went from having just a few cards. Oh, and there's a Shadow Word Madness, but a little bit too late. All right. <laughs> um, to having a practically full hand. Actually, we will start next turn with a full hand. <laughs> Soul Mirror uh, doesn't allow him to quite clear. But he gets another skeletal, so he's gonna have even more hand space issues. But he's got an insane number of dragons going on here. Okay, now he did clear. Uh, Galakrond is excellent to clear these. Yeah, don't care. That's clear. If we hero power, we overdraw. So, it's fine. He's got a ton of dragons in hand, though. That does hurt. Alright. That is challenging to deal with. Oh, I could have actually hero powered. Shoot. Bit of a misplay. All right, targeted damage to face for Priest. Smite's gone, or Smite's been nerfed, can't hit face anymore. We can now clear with Kronks. Soul Mirror would allow us to get reduced health copies of those. And then we could give well, no. Embalming Ritual, I guess, doesn't matter too much. Maybe we do just drop Kronks. And then... Dragon Maw. Okay. It is do this first, just in case we actually like what we get. That would actually cause us to overdraw if it dies. <laughs> Take 
Okay. So if he's got Soul Mirror, no, he's already used it. Unless he's discovered an extra copy from one of his renews that he didn't use yet. Uh, the flame or Holy Nova? Okay, yeah. Or Wrath of the Infinite. There are a couple ways. All right. We can kill that with Moarg and Penance. So that's three mana. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, we're keeping our hand a little bit trimmed down. I mean, if he goes really big, we can Soul Mirror or Murizond. Oh, he gets both. He draws Galakron from his deck and gets the, um... That's, wow. That value, and that's good to know, just to, <laughs> to learn. Okay, we can get 11-11, but then it's not too much. Uh, we do have targeted, so we can pop off a little bit with Sethic, or we could just Soul Mirror. Soul Mirror might be right here. And then just get some stats on the board. Even though if it's just 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, it's okay. Because we wouldn't be dealing with these, um, Murazond is not terribly exciting. <laughs> Alright, we get to start being toxic here soon. Uh... <laughs> So our opponent has only played one of his maybe three or four Galagrons, by the way. And we're both well above uh, 30 health. We're, neither of us are ever running out of value. Oh shoot, I was going to say, but he's going to hit Fatigue before we do. Uh, but maybe not necessarily anymore. Ah, okay. Okay. And then we do have a dragon in hand. I could... No, I can't afford to do that. I like it. <laughs> the value. Okay, we are not fatiguing anytime soon. And our opponent is much closer to fatigue than we are. Good times, good times. And we can kind of pop off. Well... No, we need a 5 health or more minion on our opponent's side. And he's not going to have it. So we need to top deck... We don't want to kill our Sethic. So we're not doing that. Okay. So the value generation potential is absurd. <laughs> we have nine, he has six. Uh, I think he did successfully shuffle a Reliquary Prime into his deck though. Okay. Need to be careful not to get so many that I overdraw. Not happening apparently. <laughs> um, okay. Why not? I don't think it punishes. 
and potentially keeps our Sethics alive. Maybe, sometimes. Soul Mirror allows him to clear one of them, and he gets a Sethic. Oh, he gets two Sethics. But, okay. Mmm, shoot. Uh, we already used our Soul Mirror. Shoot. Alright. He hasn't played Murazond. Does he have Murazond? He could have like three or four by now. <laughs> uh... Job done. That could have gone better. Okay. Fortunately, he doesn't have a whole lot of damage on board. And we're fine on card space. We certainly could have gotten a lot better minions, but sure. Okay. Ah. That's fun. We're still winning in fatigue if we're not dead to the board. We have four damage in AoEs with Breath of the Infinite and Holy Nova. Shadow or Death doesn't actually hit anything. There is a second Reliquary Prime. Definitely want to use A Clear to get rid of those Sethics. We don't need the Lifesteal yet. <laughs> I don't want to give him the potential to steal it with Shadow Word Madness if we play anything else out. Um, okay. Pain and suffering <laughs> um, interesting. Shadow Madness, but can he kill it? Penance doesn't kill it. Shadow or death. Oh, we did get punished. Okay. So we helped him avoid fatigue a little bit. Oh, that's annoying. We're going to want that a little bit later. Uh, so he's currently got 11 damage. We're alive at 8. 8 over the top is highly unlikely. Okay. <laughs> oh, don't have Murazond. Do we Squall Hunter? No. Because it can allow us to clear with Holy Nova um, some stuff. So if he just goes over the top, then... Mind control? Are you freaking kidding me? And a zero cost shadow or death. Alright. We might have to plague this. Hold on. What can we do? Can we ever get that back and clear at the same time? We can do four AoE, but these survive, unfortunately. Yeah, no. Shoot. I would have liked to do something interesting there, but sadly not. I still can't believe he actually had Shadow Word Madness and Shadow Word Pain exactly what he needed to get to steal one of our primes. That's annoying. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Yep. All right, it's time for the reliquary fights. Mine sticking is unlikely. If we Holy Nova takes it down to half. Oh wait. This does draw me closer to fatigue. Allows me to kill his reliquary prime and I'll just play the Amber Watcher. Okay. 
We've got good targets for Mind Flare cars. Like, he, he has a lot of stuff left, so. He's literally hitting Fatigue, like, a step ahead of me. That's it. And who knows? One of us gets one more Reliquary. Okay. And yeah, he is... So was that his natural one? Let's see. That was his natural one. So maybe he only got one extra Galvacron from me early on? Maybe? Possibly? Hopefully? Okay. Spell damage, that doesn't count. <sighs> Tap last, always. <laughs> but I was pretty much gonna do that anyways. So he has a couple reliquaries. Uh, Reliquary Primes. If he has Shadow Word Madness, we get punished like nobody's business, but... He's got nine damage, but we've got a lot of heal going on. I mean, we're fighting to fatigue, yo. <laughs> and we've both put off fatigue by a couple um, Reliquary Primes. Okay, I can clear, but I want to do this, see what we pick up. <laughs> can I get this? Wait, wait, I no longer have a dragon in hand. Ah, it hurts. I wish I could save this. All right, all right. Uh, I can't play Reliquary plus Grave Runes on it right away. Okay. We're still better off in fatigue than he is. Okay. Six health. 
Unfortunately, again, Grave Runes is too expensive. We can't just afford to ignore that though. So I'm gonna have to play Reliquary. Unless I get something better. Deck doesn't benefit us at all. Uh, so it's just a 1 1 out there. I have to, right? I take 12 and then 5 or 4. I heal up. But I don't deal with that, anyways. Unless I get another minion. So I'm counting on this, anyways. Don't keep your thoughts to yourself. And who knows, maybe the 1 1 actually benefits in some way, some form, sometime. <laughs> Leg of death, okay. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to grave runes it yet. Cuz it If he steals it and kills it again somehow Then I'm in trouble. Okay. That would have been a great thing to Karj if I had kept track of how many he had. Okay, he can punch us for six, but he'll heal for six as well. Oh, wow. He's going after the minion. Because he's going to heal for 12 over two turns. Come on, Psychopomp. Now he can just bump in and kill it. Having one more minion out there helps. Wow! Wow! He fatigued for nine, and I was fatiguing for seven. Or, he, no, he fatigued for eight. He was going to fatigue for nine the following turn. This was insane! <laughs> Chaotic Veil lived up to its name. Um, mainly because it was a priest opponent. We're gonna play probably just one more. Uh, we, we might have two, time for two, but um, yeah. That was chaos. That was insane. So much fun, though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, another, are you freaking kidding me? It's another priest. And that's it this time. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to tap that like button, smash that subscribe button, and share your perspective in the comments below. You're awesome. Thank you for watching, and have an awesome day.